welcome to my channel my name is jocelyn and i am a lash technician in the bay area i just wanted to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel um i know that i haven't made an appearance yet but here i am finally making the appearance on my channel so i just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you for everything and just thank you for your support thank you for your comments um your comments don't go unnoticed so i just wanted to say thank you and recently i have been getting a lot of recognition on my easy fanning tutorial video so i just wanted to say thank you on that um for everyone liking the video and you know just recommending it to your friends and family but yeah overall i just wanted to say thank you so so much and let's get right into the video so i'm sorry if i look a little beat up right now but um i just wanted to touch the subject a little bit about retention um, I know that retention is a very big factor when it comes to lashing and you know sometimes we think that retention is just by the glue and it's just from the glue and you know that the glue is either going to make or break your retention but in reality it's not all about the glue there's some other factors that we should think about before actually you know telling ourselves and telling ourselves to give up because you know that glue is not working you're not finding yourself a good glue out there um you know it, and sometimes it can be the glue i'm not saying that you know oh yeah that's it's not the glue like you know it can't be your glue sometimes it can be the glue um but you that's why i'm here to make this video because it's important for us to find the perfect glue um in order for us to you know Im improve our retention and retention is just a really really big factor in especially lashing lashing overall um, you know, being a lash technician, sometimes when you go in the industry and you're a beginner, you don't really know where retention is until you actually start watching videos and you actually start to experience retention by yourself and, you know, start to experience, oh my gosh, like, you know, my client's lashes are not lasting or either they're really lasting really long or not lasting at all. But th that is why I'm here to talk about a little bit about retention and um, basically what you can do to improve your retention. So let's get right into it. So basically retention, um, with retention you have to be very careful um, with what products you use. I know a lot of people like to use um, bonders, sealants, and primers, and so many things um, in order for you to re improve your retention. And all of that is good things. Um, I honestly, my myself don't use primer but i do use a sealant um and the sealant is basically used um when you're done with your set you go ahead and you get a lip gloss wand and then you just dip it in your sealant and you just dab it onto the lashes when you're done um that is basically all i use i honestly tried out priming the lashes but i didn't really like that so Another solution that I found was for me to do lash baths before a new set or before a fill. It is very important that we make sure that our clients' lashes are clean. I know that sometimes their lashes may look clean, but it is very important for us to actually go out of our way sometimes to actually make sure that the lashes are really, really clean. Um, and sometimes what you can do when you have a client that is coming back um, some, and if you don't want to, let's say, give her a lash bath before her appointment, sometimes what you can do is you can definitely um, tell her to, you know, do a lash bath before her appointment and just make sure that she comes in with clean lashes. Basically, that's what I like to do most of the time as well. But yeah, that is very important. Just making sure that your client's lashes are clean. Another tip that I would recommend is making sure that you have a good glue for yourself. And, you know, sometimes we don't know where or, you know, how to find the perfect glue for ourselves. And that's perfectly fine. You, we don't need to find the perfect glue because at the end of the day, I don't think there's a perfect glue out there. And like I said, our glue, it, it doesn't determine our retention. I feel like it, it doesn't make or break our, ret our retention, you know, like our glue sometimes can be very picky and that's that's something that you know is valid to say um our glues can be picky sometimes but it all depends on the lash artist and you know um let's say if you're a beginner and you are using a 0.5 second through one second drying time glue 
and you're a little slower putting it onto the lash, that is not a good glue for you. Um, if you're a beginner and you are a little slower putting it onto the lash because you're just beginning, you know, it's totally understandable, then I totally recommend getting a three to five second drying time glue because it's very important to make sure that, you know, you get yourself a, you know, a good drying time glue for yourself because sometimes a lot of people don't don't know um, the drying time technique, but basically drying time means that you know once you actually dip the extension in glue and you take it out, you only have literally 0.5 or one second to put it onto the natural lash. A lot of professionals actually use one second drying time glue. Um, they could either use two second drying time glue. It doesn't really matter, but that's very important to make sure that you use a good drying time glue for yourself and you make sure that if you're a beginner you uh, if you're a fast uh, lash beginner then you know that's fine you can go ahead and use a one to two second drying time glue um but if you're more on the slower side i that and that's totally okay because when i was a beginner i used a three to five second drying time glue so that's totally okay um but i totally recommend you you know you make sure that um one day just you know don't time yourself you know you don't want to do that but what you want to do is just make sure how um, you're placing it onto the natural lash if you're a little slower and if you're using a fast drying time glue then that glue is just definitely not for you because by the time that you place the eyelash extension onto the natural lash that glue is going to be already dried up because they only had one second to dry up and you're taking about three seconds to place it onto the natural lash that's going to be dried up already and you know it's just not going to stick to the natural lash anymore so that is something that you guys should definitely keep in mind um for retention and also your humidity make sure a lot of the glues actually have humidity printed on the back of their um on the back of their you know their bottle um or you could also find it on the website but it is very important to check your humidity um and you know i like to check mine with this one right here so it's just very important to check your your humidity or your temperature because a lot of glues go by temperature only um just make sure that you're using a glue that matches your humidity or your temperature um that is very that is a very important factor in lashing as well and just making sure that hu your humidity and your temperature is on range with your glue um so right now I have a glue that is actually supposed to be stored at 72 degree Fahrenheit. And guess what? My, it's actually 72. It looks like 75, but it's actually 72 degree Fahrenheit, which is crazy. So, you know, you have to make sure that you kind of, you know, get a room that is going to fit those, um, your glue standards. Um, so yeah, that is something that we should definitely keep in mind with retention. And if you guys have any questions on that, please let me know down below in the comments. The final tip that I will give you guys, there's many tips that I can give you guys with retention, but this is like an important one, would be aftercare. Proper aftercare will make your lashes last. We need to preach and preach to our clients that proper aftercare is very important. And I feel like a lot of lash artists um, don't preach that and we should definitely preach it and tell our clients to wash their lashes. You know, you don't want blemphoritis on their lashes. Um, you don't want makeup oils. That All of that right there, makeup oils, um, you know, sweat and tears, all of that can literally lead to bad retention problems. So we have to make sure that we preach aftercare and we have to let our clients know that aftercare is very important. And you know, if you don't sell lash shampoos, you know, start like, you know, I have a lot of TikTok videos on this, but if you guys wanna make your own lash shampoos, make your own lash shampoos and make some money off of it. Um, it is very important for us to make sure that our clients are washing their lashes because if they don't wash their lashes that can lead to bad retention um, If you wash the, your lashes and if you make sure that you tell your clients to wash their lashes trust me They will improve their retention by literally 50% literally it's fi that Something that I like to say is that the retention is always 50 50 50% that lash artist and then 50% the client um, because if the client is not taking care of their lashes, then, and if they're picking and pulling and, you know, they're just sweating a lot and they're not washing their lashes after, or if they're putting a lot of makeup on and then they're not washing the lashes, all that get, gets built up and could definitely break down the glue, which can lead to her having retention problems. 
So that is something we, sh we should definitely keep in mind. Proper aftercare is very important and it's something that we should always preach. Hey guys, so different setting. Um, I definitely left this out my last video, which I was currently filming in a, like literally 30 minutes ago. Um, but basically something we should definitely keep in mind is also proper placement. We should definitely, if you're a beginner, you know, and you think that your retention is not good at all, something that you should be practicing on is proper technique. Properly knowing how to place an eyelash extension onto the natural lash because proper placement is very important, especially in retention as well. That is something that I left out and I just wanted to talk about it um, because, you know, you can also have retention problems if you properly didn't place the eyelash extension onto the natural lash and that could be a huge factor um, on your retention especially as a beginner i remember when i was a beginner i didn't properly place the, la the lash extensions correctly onto the natural lashes at times and that led to them falling off quicker so that's definitely something that you should definitely keep in mind if you're a beginner but other than that yes keep on practicing your proper placement and you know if you um, do live models or you know the mannequin just keep on making sure that you know how to place it um, onto the natural lash because that is very important and if you guys want to see a video on that please comment down below but yes that is a final tip bye guys that is all i have for today that is kind of what i just wanted to touch the subject on retention and um, i know a lot of beginners out there don't really know what retention is and just you know want to ha find a video out there that is um just explaining a little bit about what retention is so i just wanted to make this video um today about retention so i just wanted to say thank you and thank you for sticking around um i didn't want to make it a long video but if you guys want more tips and tricks on anything, please follow my TikTok at Ramos 15 um, I have a lot of tips and tricks and I also like literally post a lot of videos on there. If you guys, you know, I, I try to post um, every single week, um, at least once a day. So if you guys want to check me out on that and then my social media, Instagram at Jocelyn Slash Bar. If you guys want to check me out on that, that would be great. But overall, thank you so much. And I hope this video was um, helpful for you beginners out there. Um, knowing a little bit about retention. I know retention could be a little intimidating at times, but it, it is definitely important for us to touch the subject on retention, um, especially because retention is a very, very, very big part in lashing. So I just wanted to say thank you and thank you for sticking around. I, I'll see you guys later. Bye.